specialize in graphic design for print. So my passion and my uh, focus of my business is actually on book design. I design book covers, interior layouts, and I help people get through the publishing process if they want to publish their own book. Um, I also do all kinds of marketing materials, uh, brochures, ads, business cards, anything from print, really. Um, but because I have a marketing background, I always come at things from a storytelling aspect. Because I believe that storytelling is one of the most powerful ways that we can put our ideas and messages out there into the world. And that's something that other people will connect to and remember and give you a basis to start building your customer relationships on. And as marketing guru Seth Godin says, that it's not about the stuff we make anymore, it really is about the stories we tell. So I always keep that in mind as I'm designing pieces, and that's um, a heavy focus of my business. The other aspect that comes into play this morning is video, the power of video, which is an awesome way to tell stories. And these days, video is everywhere. I'm sure we've all wasted plenty of time watching silly cat videos and other kinds of silly videos. Uh, but there's a lot of useful and, and professional ways to use video in your business as well. Statistics show that somebody will retain 95% of a video message when they view it in that format, compared to 10% retention when they read the text-based version of that same message. So that's a pretty powerful way to realize that video is important. So when I learned about this augmented reality tool that marries this concept of storytelling with the power of video, I just knew it was uh, something I wanted to get involved with and make available to my clients. When Tamara learned about it, I felt that it should be shared with all of you as well. That's kind of why I'm here this morning, and I want to uh, give you a little bit of an overview of augmented reality in general, and then more specifically this tool that I've been referring to. Uh, kind of think of it as the magic of augmented reality because it's so new. Uh, a lot of people aren't even really familiar with the term. How many of you know what augmented reality is? It's a pretty good showing. Every time I talk about this, more and more people are raising their hands. For those of you who don't know, um, it is <coughs> excuse me, uh, laying virtual content on top of reality. And if you don't know what it is, but you've heard of Pokemon Go, which jumped into the forefront in 2016, that's augmented reality, or AR. So people walking around with their phones and uh, in whatever environment they're in, in their reality, seeing these little Pokemons coming into play and trying to capture them. That's the virtual content laying on top of the reality. So that's a game, hugely popular game. What does that have to do with business? Actually, quite a lot, and it's really, really, really big business. If someone like Tim Cook, CEO of Apple, believes that it's gonna be as influential as these things, and we all know how influential these things have become, um, that's a pretty big statement. Here's some statistics to back that up. $150 billion in revenue, um, this is starting with the big guns like Apple and Facebook and Google who are already into AR big time. Um, it's revenue opportunity between now and 2021. One billion new AR users, which given that probably most of us are not currently AR users even in this room, between now and 2020. Huge potential for growth. And just this year alone, projected that 24 million AR and VR devices will be sold. Um, VR being virtual reality, and um, what I've been reading recently is that AR is going to well overtake VR, simply because AR can be done with the devices we already have, um, or possibly just need to upgrade, compared to VR, which are those headsets. So it's a whole investment in uh, hardware, in addition, whereas AR, kind of hit the ground running with a lot of stuff we already have. So some applications for AR, starting at the highest end, custom applications that can start at $25,000 and up into the millions, take months and years to develop. Universal Studios has the Jurassic Park experience, where you're waiting in line, and if you stand on that little spot where those kids are standing, the dinosaurs appear. That's that virtual content coming to life familiar with the IKEA place catalog. This is 
where consumers at home can walk around with the catalog on their phone or their uh, iPad or whatever and see how that sofa and love seat is going to look in that room. Do I want the uh, dining table in this wood or that wood? Big, involved, very functional apps, but a really big investment in making that happen. Uh, other uh, more recent developments are something like Snapchat, the lenses, where you can put on the funny little faces on your Snapchat pictures, and something called AR enhanced sampling, which is things like uh, L'Oreal Cosmetics getting into that big time, where you can try on an eyeshadow or a lipstick on your actual face virtually to see if you like that color. So those are some of the higher end applications for it. Um, in the middle, we have uh, AR development companies that are creating applications for specific clients. In this case, Volkswagen has an app that you can, similar to the IKEA thing, where you can check out a car, what's the color, uh, the different features of it, what will this car look like with a blue exterior and a tan interior. It's a whole try before you buy kind of concept. And then this is what I'm really here to talk about, is this uh, augmented reality for the rest of us entry-level type application that makes print materials come alive with video. Um, I was introduced to this about a year ago, and the woman in this picture is Michelle Calloway, who is the founder of a company called Revealio, which is the name of this particular tool. Um, I was there when she introduced the concept, and like I said, it, when I learned about it, and it married the con idea of storytelling with video, and I just knew it was something that I could offer my clients, would be of great value and now I've gotten involved in her marketing efforts to be able to bring it to even more people like all of you. So I'm going to show you a quick demo to give you a quick taste of what it looks like and, and I have a few other videos to show as we go throughout the presentation. Hi, I'm Michelle Calloway, founder of Revealio, Parts That Come Alive, a mobile augmented reality company bringing personalized, interactive, printed greeting cards that come alive so, um, as you can see, that was just a little taste of it. It works through a mobile app, and the, um, the app turns your phone into camera mode. And then when you're in camera mode, you can view whatever the item that's been activated, business card in that example, have it come to life with the video that she created. Um, and some of the benefits of this is uh, the impact and influence that you can have by creating this. You really stop people in their tracks when you say, hey, want to see what my business card can do? Or uh, it could be used on a print ad, and you add a line on your ad that says, see this ad come alive uh, with the Revealio app. So somebody flipping through a magazine, and they stop and say, wait, what's this? And they get the app, and they put it over that ad, and all of a sudden they see a video of you talking about your product or your service, and all of a sudden, that ad stands out a whole lot more than anything else in that magazine. When you are dealing with somebody one-on-one -on -one and you show them uh, how that works, you have this opportunity for increased engagement. You've gone from just a, here's my business card, to you want to see what my business card can do, and you start a conversation. And you can take it as far as you can in that conversation. It's a major foot in the door. For your existing customers, when you start presenting your video, you can change your video app over time, so you have an established customer base, they have, they see your ads, and then or your, get your mailings or whatever your marketing campaign might involve, change your videos, tell your story in a different way, or tell about a new story that you might have, and you uh, just strengthen that customer relationship you already have in place. It gives you more value from the print that you're already doing, whether it's just a business card or a brochure. You focus on which part of something you have activate, and you can uh, really leverage the power of this with, you don't have to activate the image of the entire business card, it could just be your logo. And anywhere that logo appears will launch that same video. And it's a pretty affordable option compared to those $5,000, or $25,000 uh, application development opportunities. So it's a way to try out AR to see if it makes sense for your marketing efforts. That's a summary of all the benefits. So I have a few more videos to show you now. Um, this is actually a book cover, which is one of the things that got my attention at the very beginning since book design is my uh, passion. 
So it gives that opportunity for an author to have his or her book cover come alive. This is, uh, so this is an example of this book cover coming to life, and he talks, he's, he did this also to show how the Revealio tool actually works, so it's kind of a combination, his own book cover and telling you how Revealio work, works. She's been using it about six months, 
And so I asked her recently, how's it going for you? What's, what's going on with it? And this is what she had to say, um, kind of going back to what I said earlier. It is that opportunity to go from uh, stopping a stranger and just chatting to going into a completely engaged conversation because she's, here's my card. Want to see what my card can do? She loves showing it off. And all of a sudden, she started a conversation, started to build a relationship, maybe at an open house or something like that. And when people go home and they sort through the cards of the different agents they've picked up, they come back to hers and say, well, I remember this person, and they can watch her video again and put that uh, face to her brand. So she loves it, and she is another um, big promoter of that, that whole idea. So let me talk a little bit about how it works, a little more logistics of it all. Uh, it is an app that is downloaded. So from the user side, somebody that wants to view a video, you download the app and then you launch it. And once you're in the app, you just click on View a Revealio. And at that point, it puts your uh, mobile device into camera mode and you just take the printed piece or the ad or whatever it is that has been activated and you center that underneath the screen of your uh, mobile device. And within a few seconds, the video begins to play, like you've seen the videos I showed you earlier. And in this um, screen, you can see to the uh, right side of that uh, telephone, you can see the uh, icons that I've been talking about. Those are the call to action buttons. So you just click on that and whichever one you click, it would take you to her website or send an email. You can share on social media. Um, again, it really depends on what your purpose is for this kind of a uh, tool would be. From the uh, creating creation process, it's also pretty straightforward. Um, you have your print artwork, whatever piece you decide to have activated, or a logo, or a portion of um, a printed piece. And it can be something existing, or it can be something new. If it's existing, um, the only change that would be needed would be to add a line on there somewhere that says, see this come alive with Revealio. Because if you don't put those words on there, nobody's going to know it does anything other than just sit there. What the words are specifically doesn't matter. It can be a tagline of your choosing, but something to let them know that this printed piece does something more than just sit there. And you create your video, which could be anything from a selfie video to professionally done. Um, should be 30 to uh, 45 seconds, 60 seconds maximum, just because we all have the attention span of a goldfish, so uh, people don't watch that long. 30 seconds, a little bit more, is a good amount of time. It's really meant to be um, a quick introduction to you or your business, um, just something to get somebody's attention going and direct them to those next steps so that you can build that relationship and take it further. So once you have those uh, couple of pieces, oh, and then of course you choose your call to action buttons from the nine choices that you have available. Um, take those pieces and we marry them up and activate the artwork, which really just means connecting your image whatever it is, the ad or the business card or whatever, with the video, store it up there in the cloud, and um, we optimize the video so it will load as quickly as possible, and then you go and get your artwork printed, or you run your ad, or um, you know, whatever the direction you're gonna go with that, and people start enjoying your videos. Uh, now this is my last video I wanna show you, which is actually not a business-related one, it's a personal one. It's this couple's uh, engagement announcement that they sent to family and friends. And the reason I want to show it to you is because I think it's a beautiful example of the emotion that this uh, tool brings out in, in the use of it, where um, it's more than just another ad or another form of marketing, but it is, really is your ability to put your face uh, on your brand, your flavor, your personality, and in this case, they're simply announcing their engagement and their wedding date to their friends, but you'll see the emotion that it activates.
any kind of event. It could be done with a conference or a, an association meeting or anything like that where it can be done for a short amount of time, for a couple of months leading up, where you might have a video trying to get exhibitors and then you shift that to attendees and then you shift that to announcing who your speakers are as videos change as the event gets closer. So applications are uh, limitless really at this point. Uh, I have some uh, flyers at the back with some more information and that will kind of give you an idea. I'm happy to take any questions. You do need to download the app, which when I first heard that I was like, hmm, that's not good. But um, I have since learned that that is really not a stumbling block. People download apps without hardly even thinking about it. When I've been in a group like this, or I've been in a group of four or five people, usually I'm talking about this, what I'm saying right now, and somebody across the room has already downloaded the app. Um, as an example, personal example, I did a New Year's card to my client list of around 80 names, and I hadn't really done any promotion of this any other, uh, any other way. And so I just put my business card, which is also at the back, and you can see, you can try out the app yourself with my card. Um, I put that in that New Year's card. And the New Year's card was just, Happy New Year, we're gonna have a good year, whatever. It had nothing to do with this. So all of this was just sitting in there, and nobody was predisposed to know about it. And I had 200 views of my card in January. So obviously, people downloaded the app. Uh, it, right now, it is uh, basically the number of views. There's, you know, because of privacy reasons, there's not really any data that comes with it. You can see month to month what your views are, because the idea is that whatever your call to action is, you're bringing them into your sales funnel and getting, getting them engaged however you do that normally, and that's when you capture specific data. No, not necessarily, unless you create a custom, say, URL that you want to direct somebody to. It says, you know, like my card says, See this card come alive with the Revealio Augmented Reality app. So the clients that got this card that read that figured out to go to the Apple Store, Google Play, and download it and watch it. You know, Cards Come Alive is my site, um, and I can you know help you through that process. But if you've already got your, like with Dale's card, um, he basically had that card existing. Um, we we made a couple of tweaks to it, and then we added the See this card come alive line at the bottom. That's really all that was involved. You no, know, you need to you need to go through Cards Come Alive, um, or you could go directly to Revealio.com, um, and and because that's where the artwork and the video get married up. So just printing your card and putting that line on it doesn't do anything because Revealio doesn't know about it. The at that um, basic rate is for 2,000 views. They can um, if you start getting more than that, there is an additional um, cost. There's there's additional levels. Or if there's a really huge campaign going on, there's there's no cap to put it that way. There's dollars associated with increasing the number. I mean, it, it can be really whatever. Um, it's been very interesting to hear some of the ideas that people have about how they want to implement it. Whether you want to use it just for a strictly promotional video, or as Dale mentioned, a, a training. Not so much a training itself, but simply because the time frame is so short, 30 to 60 seconds. I don't know what you're training somebody in in that short of a time, but it's it's to get somebody interested in it and to your site or whatever the location you want them to go to to take the next step of action. Um, I have somebody else, a, a coach, business coach, that um, is interested in doing this. That we're working on a plan where she wants to send a card to her, her clientele and her plan is to change out her video every few days, maybe once a week, and just have her clients know that, that um, they can check this postcard and see what her new message is for the week on what she's doing. So you, can, you can come with your artwork all done. So yeah, the cards come alive and reveal you are just about the marriage. I can help you if you need the artwork help, but it's, you can bring it as a finished piece. So once we, if you come to me with your business card that doesn't say see it come alive, and you want to make this all happen. So I'll take your artwork, and somewhere we'll figure out together that you approve where we're going to add that line and how we're going to make it look. And then um, that becomes the image, and you provide your video, and we marry them up. And I give you back that artwork with that line at it, and you go off and print it however you want. Or I can help you with that, but that's not. Yeah, you can send wherever you get your cards printed anyway, you can get them printed. Oh. Um, so, uh, I also want to talk a little bit about uh, the ex extending it and adding another uh, 
flavor of flexibility. So I have my business card that you can see in the back that talks about it. On this side is uh, the promotion of the Revealio app. This is my brochure for my book design business. On the back side, I put the exact same artwork that talks about this tool. So it's the same artwork in two places. So if somebody uses the app to see this or they use the app to see that, they're going to see my same video either way. So it's extending the reach of my single Revealio in different applications. Similar to what we did with Dale's card. So this is his business card, which you probably can't really see, but his logo is here on top, and then this is all of the phone and contact information down below. So we decided to activate only the logo. So when you view this through the app and you see that logo, that's where the video is going to play. Similar to the book cover video that I showed you, he only had a section of the uh, book cover come alive so that you still see the title of the book while his video was playing and you can maintain that connection. But in this case, like I said earlier, anywhere that he uses this video, I mean logo, in this exact uh, version, whether it's on an ad or a brochure or somewhere else, and it, there's that tagline that tells somebody it's going to come alive anyway, but you just want to include that tagline so that people know it comes alive. And in fact, we talked about this yesterday, his old business card, which basically looks like this without that line at the bottom, will still come alive because it's still the same logo. Well, that's why I think it's, uh, it's got a lot of application beyond the business card. Uh, that was kind of the first easy way to talk about it, but I think Personally, I think print advertising is a great use of it. Like I was talking about the real estate agent. You get those real, real estate magazines and it's just ad after ad after ad, the same kinds of things. But if you see this one that says, see this one come alive, and all of a sudden that sets that person, that agent, or that office apart from everybody else. So um, being able to use it, and really it can work on anything that's flat. It can be a trade show banner, it can be a sign on the side of a bus, preferably the bus is not moving <laughs> while you're trying to scan it, but it can be a promotional product that is essentially flat, that has a, it's something that's terribly curved, like a ball or something, it's just not going to be able to capture the image well enough. But beyond that, you have a lot of leeway. Well, actually, AR is already built into the uh, iPhone 10. Nobody is doing anything with it yet because apps are still in the development stage. But yes, in a couple of years, um, even this is going to shift to some degree because you won't need a special app. It will, um, it will just be built in and we'll just be able to. I won't have the same conversation at all, probably within two years. Yeah, it'll be a built-in thing and we won't have that, oh, I have to download an app kind of um, step. So it is similar in concept to a QR code, but um, it, with the call to action buttons, it gives you more uh, flexibility in how you can direct somebody's next steps. And it's also a lot less uglier than a QR code. <laughs> no, that, that's included in, in the price. There's two plans. There's a monthly plan and a yearly plan. There's a flyer back there that you can uh, pick up and take with you. And the ability to swap out videos is uh, built into that, so you could change it every day if you wanted to. Um, you can also change out your call to action buttons if you want to direct it somewhere else or you just want to say website instead of an email or what, you know, whatever your choices are. So signage is, is, is another great usage in a retail environment, for sure, whether it's in the store or on that outside window or whatever. This has two of the call to action buttons are share on Facebook and share on Twitter. And what that means is that you're sharing um, that printed piece, that image. So if you click, um, you're looking at my card and it says share on Facebook, you're going to share my card to your network. It's just, but it's going to have the same information that my card has. Someone's going to be interested in it. They're going to go down that we won't go there. <laughs> work, so it's, it's basically uh, connected per image. Um, we can, uh, let me clarify that. Once you have a certain plan, when you say, say you're going to do the monthly plan, you can actually have up to 10 uh, images, different images within that same uh, cost. This is a new change Revealio made just a few weeks ago, so I'm still kind of getting my head around it. But yes, there you can have multiple. I think that's what that means, yes. <clears throat> Haven't had anybody do it yet, so I don't have hands-on experience, but as much as I understand it at this point, that's what that means. I think it's up to 10 for a given plan that you've signed up for.